I'm trying to stress the significance in the voice. Some are more anointed than others, but th that does not take away from you being a voice. John the Baptist was one of the more anointed men in the Bible. In fact, when he came in proximity of the Lord Jesus Christ, and a conversation began to uh, develop about who was in Mary's womb. And the Bible says that, that John, who was in the womb of Elizabeth, did a somersault, jumped in the womb, because he came in proximity of another anointed person but as anointed as John was from birth in the beginning of John he says that I've come to uh, foreshadow the light to point the way to the light but I am not the light but I'm just simply a voice crying in the wilderness that tells me to tell you that he didn't quite penetrate the light to such a great extent because he was yet in darkness himself. And we know that because he said, I, I, I came to point the way. I'm not the light, but I want to show you the way of the light. So that meant that he has some darkness in him, but yet God was using him. That, that, that's something that will make me shock right there. But, but I'm just trying to talk to you now. But that's the kind of thing that would make me dance and shout. To know that I'm yet somewhat in darkness. And you're pointing the finger at me. Saying I'm not all that. And you're right, I'm not all that. Because I'm yet in darkness. But God still allows me to be used. Can you imagine what I'm going to be like as I get more out of darkness and come more into the light? I'm going to be a dangerous person to the enemy because the enemy's attempt is to keep you in darkness. The last thing he wants you to do is come into the light. But I'm glad that he'll use us in our varying degrees of darkness. 